Going through your mind here, moments from kickoff. First time you get to see him play. I hope they win. <laughs> really, I'm excited to be here. Dave, they're awfully excited, no question. And we'll get a look at Dave at Steve Baylark. Tied for first in the country. Baylark got three on first down. He's out of the eye on second down. Baylark left side. There's a hole. Baylark into the secondary, all the way to the 35 for a 12-yard gain before Monte Smith makes the tackle. After a 13-yard pickup, it's first down from the 35. Three straight running plays to Baylark. And Baylark down the sideline, pushed out after a 19-yard pickup by Jerome Touchdown. That's won the national title in 1998. This is their first trip to the championship game since. First down at the 46-yard line, and the first pass of the game is caught by a rancher at the 39-yard line for a gain of seven. Jerome touchdown on the stop. Six-yard gain on the pass play. Second down at the 40-yard line. Back to Baylock, and another hole. This time off the right side. Down to the 32-yard line, pick up a... And they run a lot of zone plays, which means uh, the offensive line and the reach blocking, tough to reach block. Byron is so quick. Cone on the rollout. Going to throw back down the middle of the field. The defender fell down. Caught at the one-yard line by J.J. Moore. Jerome touched on, made the tackle. A defense at the one. UMass scored on its opening drive in the semifinals last week. Matt Lawrence straight ahead. And he's in. Touchdown, UMass. Second straight week, the Minutemen score on their first drive. He is a transfer from the University of Connecticut. Chris Copeland on for the PAT, and UMass strikes first. Big third down and four, otherwise UMass's offense back on the field. Edwards to the air, completes it. First down, Richardson past the 45 and out to the 46 yard. And so there is a chess match going on as to how each team responds. You saw those great numbers for UMass. They have not allowed a point in the second half the entire postseason. Edwards gets drilled as he gets rid of the pass incomplete at the knee. Well, they are all of that. Cone. Throws a strike to Brandon London. First down at the 34-yard line. Very close as to whether indeed. Now the middle of the field is wide open. They're bringing pressure. Cone gets rid of it. Incomplete. Intended for Rancher. Justin Wose on the coverage. You mouth. Warriors and whatnot. It's a football. It's a physical game. If you're not going to do it, why play it? There's a corner blitz that's picked up on third down and almost a great catch at midfield. And Steph's teammates down there for winter break. Play action on third down and three. Cone looking for Baylock. Nice tackle by Rose, and he's short of the marker. Quarterback draw. You've got man-on-man -man blocking up front and a great athlete behind it. And a pretty good throw by Edwards on first down in the UMass territory to the fourth. Back to Jackson to be. Kevin Richardson on first down. This is going to be an Appalachian State touchdown. A 45-yard shot. Just as we said, Appalachian State had been shut down offensively to this point. They storm down the field and tie the game late in the first quarter. So he's already touched the ball 11 times in this ball game already. Pass into the flat to London. Good block by J.J. Moore. And then, man, London just gets drilled by... Wait a minute. What you say? No. Who doesn't want it? <laughs> Baylock. Grabbed at the ankle and wrapped up at the 45 by Omar Byram, who's making his presence felt on defense. Than they ever have before. Screen to Baylor. And a good pickup to the 35. He's going to be close to the first down marker. Yes. Second down and 13. Cohen finds London on the slant to the 25-yard line. 
Gain of 13, close to another first down. Wiggins on it to the the number five. Yeah, five or that S as in Superman. And it's a first down to the 23-yard line. It was Baylark, or the same number that Marcel Shipp wore in 1998. Now first and 12 of the 26. Plebeck, a great block by Baylark, and that pass up for grabs and picked off. Monte Smith with the interception. Passer hit Cone with his right hand right in the helmet. Edwards on first down, taking off. Jets into the secondary to the 33-yard line. Gain of 14 on the play. Former NFL running back Adrian Morrell, who's here tonight. Edwards finds Dexter Jackson for the first down. Boy, Armonte Edwards, true freshman quarter. The last eight plays, Appalachian State with close to a buck 20. And a lot of those on the ground from Armonte Edwards. He pitches to Richardson. Going to be close to the first down. Tackled by Dominique. On third and 11. Cone with time. And what a play in the secondary by Lynch. Breaking up the pass intended for London. Corner, we're tied at seven. Edwards with time to throw, and he finds William Mayfield, a former starter at linebacker. Now he's the top receiver for the Mountaineers, and a big play on first. Last timeout, and they go empty backfield here. Edwards has it complete, very close to the marker at the 34-yard line. All the pins up for fourth down now. And they are going to go for it after the catch by Mayfield. Hand off to Richardson, and he's got it. To the 29, he picked up five on fourth and one. He to be playing. On first and 15, Devin Moore to the 25-yard line. Moore had a quick snap after the first down, and here's Moore again. And another solid pickup, about seven. And that was a second down and five play, and he thought it's Appalachian State that is dictating the pace. Third down and five as we approach the one-minute mark. Again, three timeouts remaining for the Mountaineers. Edwards creating space and taking off and getting the first down. Pushed out by Brandon Smith. First. He just got the play that time. They froze UMass to figure out what their defense was. Hand off to Richardson. It's a touchdown, his second of the game. <laughs> 28 rushing touchdowns. Wow, Sean for the extra point. UMass led 7-0, but 14 unanswered by Apple half games outscoring teams 29 to nothing in the second stanza in the playoffs. Cone steps up, finds more, and UMass, you would think, would call a timeout here. They've got two left. Still going to play in the middle of the field and call a timeout. It has one remaining. Cone gets hit once, twice, and now he's sacked. Byron and Morrell wrap him up, and that'll be the final play of the first half. It's hard for him to go that way. Armani Edwards, a true freshman quarterback, has been terrific all year. Throws another bullet to Jackson for the first down. Belton on the stop. And Appalachian State won it last year with a senior quarterback. Might they win it this year with a true freshman? Edwards hits Corman out in the flat, and he gets close to 10 yards. Near the first down, Mark to the guy he wants. Another pass play, Corman again in the flat. First down and more into UMass territory to the 46. Hey, that for the quarterback has a, a, a much better first read and he can get it out faster. Edwards over 2,200 passing yards. Here's a pitch on the option to Richardson. Breaks one tackle and bumped out of the that pitch. On second and one, Edwards keeps. He's got the first down. Guys, if Appalachian State scores a touchdown in this drive, if you throw it with a flatter trajectory, it makes it much more difficult. 
Huge play for the UMass defense on third and eight. Edwards pass intercepted. He had a ball with a diving stab, and UMass takes over. Second interception for the All-American James. Away from the team, he better find a way to get it back. Fresh set of downs as we move on. Cohen looking to set up the flanker screen, finds Washington. Undercut at the 35, falls down to the 37. I think he's got the right idea here, Dave. Play fake for Cohen on second down, and he has Lawrence out of the backfield. Out to the 49-yard line, gain of 12. Well, let's give that you. Only seven points for UMass in the 17 plays in Appalachian State territory, but Baylor breaking tackles. Running behind J.J. Moore, finally grabbed by Monte Smith and brought down at the 21. Over the last four years, he's the leading rusher. He's got more yards than Garrett Wolf, although Wolf still has a bowl game to go for Northern Illinois. On second and nine, Cone finds Lawrence, and he's tackled on the far side at the 17 by Touchstone. Very strong. Big third down and six for UMass. Cone with time and a strong throw to Lestorti and he is going to be called in touchdown UMass what a play by Liam Cone on third and six to get a touchdown and a chance line. so UMass goes for it on fourth down it's over on its 29 Armani Edwards getting the play in from the sideline. And on the read option, handoff to Kevin Richardson. Gaping hole. Richardson hard to bring down. Finally, Sean's. Shotgun snap to the true freshman quarterback, Edwards. This time, Bettis hangs on to it. But it appears he's going to be shy of the first down from the field. Now they set the ball and start the clock on fourth and one. Hand off Richardson, great second effort. Diving for the marker and more to the 32. Tripped up by David Burris, but he kept the feet moving. Richardson again on second down. Appears to have the first down at the 20 yard line. Brandon first. Edwards gonna take off inside the 15 and down to the 11-yard line right at the first down marker tackled by Jason Hatchell here back in 2000 here's Edwards on second down from the seven inside the five Walker on the tackle third down coming up they can still get a first down without having to get into the end zone in team sports in school history and they do it again and here they come. They are bringing the pressure this time. Richardson looking for his third touchdown. He's got it. Touchdown, Appalachian State. An incredible story. A former walk-on was not even offered a scholarship. And it worked. Here's a third down and six. Cone with time. Finds Lestorti again. He's got the first down. Finally dumped at the 35-yard line. UMass has been very good. Six. UMass converted its last third down and six. Cone has time to throw. Lestorti's wide open. Finally tackled inside the 25. Great read by the quarterback, Cone, to find the wide open Lestorti down the seat. That will change depending on what they can pick up here on third. And officially 14 from the 25. Cone going for London. Incomplete. London got past the safety. Lynch. But an air made a big field goal at Montana in the freezing cold last week and splits the uprights this week to get UMass within four. So this and Hatchell hurt again for UMass, so he goes to the sideline here on second and eight. By the way, Richardson, you saw 15 career 100-yard rushing games. Appalachian State's 14-0 when he rushes for 100. Will they be 15-0 as Edwards takes off and gets to midfield, takes it. Actually, just another running back on that play. He's, he's running that quarterback drop. Hand off Richardson to the outside. 
pushed out at the 42. Going back to Armonte Edwards, do you guys recall? You run it when you had the lead. They've been able to do that. They bring the safety down, and Richardson breaks a tackle. Has the first down to the 37-yard line. You know, quarterback draw. I throw it. Go for the win. This is the championship. 19 straight running plays. And Edwards is going to pass. And he's got a first down to the 21. Josh jo From the UMass 17, second and five. Richardson. Right at the first down marker. Tackled by Jason on third and one. It's Richardson inside the five and stumbles to the one. He is down. The ball was fumbled, but clearly Richardson was down inside. Richardson for a sport touchdown. Yes! Touchdown, Appalachian State! That's 30 on the year, four in the game for Kevin Richardson, a former walk-on. And those 30 touchdowns, an NCAA record for a single season. Roush's extra point is good. It's an 11 point game with 151 left and only 10. Biggest throw of the season for Appalachian State. Cone looking deep. Intercepted. It's Corey Lynch. And they're celebrating in Chattanooga. a guy that hurt his arm a month of style spread offense and that led to two consecutive national championships. Appalachian State remains atop the college football mountain. Back to back national titles for Jerry Moore and the Mountaineers.